Mikolaus Konstantinas Chorlonis uh, were a famous Lithuanian artist and composer and museum is under his name. Uh, it consists of two hall buildings, uh, first building and this is uh, mostly uh, dedicated to European and Lithuanian artists and another building uh, it's uh, uh, separately for the uh, uh, arts of Cerlonis himself. Anyway, uh, this is the first hall. Uh, there are mostly different portraits, uh, European ones, but uh, there are also and Lithuanian uh, masters. Uh, some historical information about the museum. Generally, uh, the idea to create uh, of museum uh, is belong to uh, belong to Cerlonis himself, and uh, in uh, 1907 uh, he first he uh, let's to say showed <laughs> the idea to create such museum uh, in Lithuania, but to regret he didn't. Uh, reach uh, the date of opening because uh, Cerlonis died in 1911 and only when Lithuania became an independent country uh, the doors uh, of the museum were opened in 1925 as far as I remember. There is a hall uh, with works of landscapes and another hall uh, does the name In Search of Identity, uh, it's uh, arts uh, of uh, Lithuanian masters uh, at the beginning of uh, 20th century. Here is already the, uh, another floor, there are some uh, sculptures, <laughs> some of them are very interesting as for me. And also there is uh, a very big hall, uh, but usually in this hall there are mostly some temporary exhibitions. When I visit this museum uh, this hall uh, was closed. And there is some separate uh, hall uh, with, uh, I can say, with folk arts and uh, there are some video where you can see how uh, Lithuanian uh, did it uh, did uh, different handmade objects which you uh, can see in this hall And finally, Mikolaus Cerlonis. Uh, here is his photo, and all this, uh, all his works are located at separate building, two floors building. Uh, and uh, just want my remark: uh, 
that all his works uh, were made at the end of 19th century and uh, the beginning of 20th century and uh, there was uh, at the time there was very popular direction like futurism anyway uh, uh, if you are in Kaunas, I strongly recommend you to visit this museum if you are not even if you are not a fan of arts